Spring is absolutely my favorite time of year. I love bringing flowers in from the garden and planting vegetables in my backyard. It just feels like the promise of wonderful things to come. I thought it would be fun to make some spring-inspired crafts to decorate our breakfast room. This is where we spend most of our time as a family, eating breakfast and dinner together, so I wanted to make it extra special for the springtime. Rather than buy new items, I'm just repurposing some of the objects we already have by moving them to a new place and giving them a new home. I love drawing herbs from the garden like this time, and it looks cute as decor as well. I'm just gonna switch up the runner on this sideboard and add back my little bird cage and a few other accents that I'll play with later. I love decorating this tiered tray for every season, so I had a few objects I'm going to add to start, and then I figured I would do a few DIY projects to decorate this. When I picked up this little wooden birdhouse at Dollar Tree, I knew it would be perfect for spring. I started by giving the roof a few coats of blue chalk paint and then painted the rest of it white before adding some little decoupage details. This pretty floral napkin is one of my favorites to use for springtime. I'm starting by cutting out the shape of the birdhouse onto the napkin and then separating the plies. I'm also making holes for things like the little perch for the bird and then later we'll deal with that heart cut out as well. So I applied a thin coat of Mod Podge before laying my napkin down and then just worked in pieces to get it completely sealed. I like to use a bit of water if there are openings like this so that I can just easily remove part of that tissue. After I had finished the decoupage, I decided to add a few extra little details with this moss, so I just used my glue gun to add a little bit of moss growing around the birdhouse. This is such a sweet addition to my little tray here. I also decided to add a nest to go along with it and added a little bit of moss to that as well. I've had these colored Easter eggs for years and I decided to give them a little upgrade. I started by painting a few coats of white chalk paint. Then I took these pretty napkins that look like chinoiserie and separated the plies just like I did in the last craft. You'll always want to make sure you only have one ply with the pattern before doing decoupage. After everything had dried, I applied a top coat of Mod Podge and then decided to create a cute little holder for these eggs. I found these adorable egg cup holders at Target Dollar Spot and I thought I would add just a little bit of texture with this spray paint. You can see it added some nice little bumps to make it look a little more upscale. This is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like with the texture. It's a subtle difference but I think it adds just another layer of elegance. Then I'm using some of the same moss as before to fill the cup slightly as a little nest for my eggs. Since the spring means gardening to me, I had to include a little flower pot on my tiered tray. Here I'm just adding some white chalk paint to make it look a little more rustic and a little more farmhouse. I picked up this little sprig of greenery at a craft store and I thought it would look perfect inside this pot. I added more moss underneath to hide the space and to also coordinate with the rest of the decor. You may have seen in my last video that I made these fabric carrots to put on display as well. 
These are super simple to make and I'll link the video tutorial up here. You can sew the carrots closed or use fabric glue as I did here. Then after it dries, you'll flip it right side out and then fill it with stuffing. I chose to use a needle and thread to seal my carrots closed and then I added a little sprig of greenery from the craft store to give it the look of a real carrot. It's really fun to mix different fabrics and make them into little bundles like I did here. I also had this mini crate that I picked up at Dollar Tree and for the longest time I didn't know what to do with it. I decided to start by adding a thin coat of chalk paint. Then I went around with this vintage Distress ink to give it more of a rustic look. This is really a good way for both paper crafts and wood crafts to just add more of a vintage vibe. By adding these cute little mini carrots, it made me think of a farmer's market where you might buy vegetables and crates or see them on display. So I thought I'd make this little carrot sign as kind of a way to remember that. Adding this little jute twine bow at the top makes it look like they're tied together and I think this is going to make a great little accent for my tiered tray. To give the tray more of a finished look, I'm just adding a few little sprigs of greenery that I had picked up as a bundle at a thrift store. I love how these remind me of some of my plants out in the garden. This cloche was another Dollar Tree find. I decided to paint it white instead of black because I wanted it to go with the rest of my decor. First, I sanded it down just to scruff it up a bit before applying this white chalk paint. This was in the hopes that the chalk paint would stick a little better. And I will tell you, I did have to do several coats of the paint for the black to be completely covered. To make this base look more like wood and less like plastic, I decided to add some shadow in the crevices here. This is a wax paint, so I'm trying to wipe away some of the excess with a cloth, and in places where I was a little too dark, I just went over it again with more white paint. Adding some brown and yellow tones also helped to make it more rustic. To fill my cloche, I used this mini wreath that I think I bought at a craft store. Then I filled it with more of the same moss and I borrowed these little bird's eggs from my boys. I promised to give it back to them when I was done with my little spring display. They were just the perfect size for this mini nest. I added one more bunny to the scene and I think this completes the look for the sideboard in our breakfast room. Now I just wanted to create a few special touches for our breakfast table as well. For our breakfast table, I moved that runner that used to be on the sideboard and decided to fill this dough bowl with the same moss I used on the other display. I've had these giant decoupage eggs for a few years now. I made them as a tutorial over on my blog and I really enjoy bringing them back each year. To add a special touch to the place settings, I used my Cricut machine to cut out these bunny shapes. They each come with two holes, and I'll show you in a minute how I turn these into the most adorable little napkin rings. This cotton fabric is perfect for making your own ribbon. I cut out a few strips, then I'm taking one end of the ribbon and feeding it through the tail area of the bunny. I'm forming a knot, and this is going to give the appearance of a little bunny tail. 
The other end of the ribbon is going to become a bow tie for the bunny. So I'm feeding it through the other hole and then cinching my napkin here so that I can make it into a napkin ring shape. You can just form a simple bow to give this bunny a bow tie and then tape down one of the edges so it stays in place. Another option is taking some fresh herbs and putting them in your napkin rings. This is some dill that I just picked from the garden and I love the way it looks with this bunny. I hope you feel inspired to make some spring crafts of your own and as always, I encourage you to go out and make something beautiful.